Hello, this is my video review of the Smeg Integrated Dishwasher, the D1613ATP. We received this on Saturday, courtesy of AO.com. Delivery was very good. Um, we had up to the minute delivery um, information from the drivers, so we knew exactly when it was actually going to turn up, pretty much bang to the minute, which was great. Uh, when the drivers turned up, they were very courteous. They asked exactly where we wanted the item and they placed it where we requested. So really, all in all, we couldn't ask very much more from them. So top marks, really. On to the product itself. Um, we're really happy with the way it looks, actually. It's been an integrated model. It's blended in nicely to the kitchen. Uh, it doesn't protrude out too much. Fitting was a little bit fiddly. Um, more often to the fact that um, my father-in-law, who is a tradesman himself, said that he had received two sets of instructions, one from a model that was completely different. So once he kind of worked out which instructions went to which um, actual model, after that he said it was pretty, pretty plain sailing really. So it was more the fact of, honestly I don't think this is a, a problem with all Smeg dishwashers, I think it's just something that happened in packing unfortunately. Um, but aside from that, no, it was absolutely fine. Uh, now it is in, we've done about four washes on this. Uh, we've been happy with how they've come out so far. We haven't tried all of the settings on it, but we have tried most. So I'll go through some of the ones we've tried and sort of give you an insight into what they're like. Now the first thing's first, we'll have a look inside the dishwasher. Obviously do excuse that there is mucky plates in here. We are a family of three, so it is... Um, being used at the minute. Um, the thing I liked uh, when I first opened this up was that there was these nice chrome handles. It's it's a little finishing touch and I do think it looks quite sleek so I do like that. Um, the handles are nice because you don't have to grab onto the, the dirtier side of the basket and you literally just slide them out, get what you need and gently slide it back. No fuss. Um, same with the bottom. What I like about this dishwasher that my previous model didn't have is just up the top here. So, ta-da! A cutlery tray. <laughs> um, this is new to me. I've never had a cutlery tray before. So it's quite interesting. I do like to do baking and, um, and often with my daughter. She's got quite unusual shaped spoons for her food. Um, so what's really nice is having the cutlery tray, I can put all these different things in here and I know they're going to be cleaned well alongside everything else in the dishwasher. Also, this tray moves really nicely to the side, so if you've got things like, um, especially on this side, if you've got tall wine glasses, they're not going to be interfering with the cutlery tray, so that's really good. The only thing I sort of... Dis I don't dislike it such, but I don't particularly like the idea. I think if I was to design this um, dishwasher myself, it's definitely something I would probably think about again if it was me. But it's in regards to the cutlery trays. If I just show you. Um, I don't quite understand the purpose of them, so I might be missing something. Someone else might think they're brilliant. But I don't quite understand the point of these, why these little teeth are here. Um... If anything, it's a real inconvenience. I put some spoons in here, and as you can see, a little yogurty spoon has fallen right down there, and it's quite mucky for me to try and have to get that out. Um, so I do think it's a, it's a bit of a silly design flaw. I think really this basket can quite do without this top section. Um, so much so that I actually did figure out that you could, with a little bit of work, just pop this off. So in future I think I'll just leave it like that so like I say it's not a deal breaker it's just if it was me and I was designing this I would definitely leave that bit off it just I don't see the point of it if I'm honest um so I'll take that away I'll do a quick run through of some of the basic programs we've got um when you receive your machine you do get a really good comprehensive instruction manual go through all the different settings, all the different sort of combinations you can do with these as well because you have a whole set of programs here. But you also have um, a few programs that you can use in conjunction with these, which is really nice. Um, 
So you can really tailor fit what your needs are and how you want your dishes to sort of be cleaned, which is good. So for example, some of the things I do like, um, I really like the 27 minute wash because sometimes I'm literally about to run out the door. Um, I might get a phone call from my husband saying that he's got some friends who want to come over for dinner tonight. I know I can stick this on and by the time I come home that night, I'm going to have nice clean dishes and be able to entertain straight away, which is good. Um, another thing I really like is this big pan wash. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I like to do things like baking or big cooking dishes. And my previous dishwasher just simply couldn't handle these big pans. So at the end of the evening, at 10 o'clock at night, I'll be washing all these big pans, um, which is something you don't really want to be doing. Um, but with this dishwasher, for the first time ever, which was lovely, at the end of the evening, I said goodbye to everyone. I loaded up the dishwasher. The next day, it was all lovely and clean, and I didn't have to spend hours after everyone had gone scrubbing. So I was really chuffed with that for a change. Um, these are really nice as well. You've got something here called a high clean, which is really nice, and it adds a final antibacterial rinse to the selected program. So whatever you, you select here, it adds that extra little bit for you, which is really nice. Um, also, you've got a half little half load button here which is good um, so things like if you've got just literally a few plates or cups or something like that and you don't fancy washing them up by hand but at the same time you don't fancy putting a whole load on for them you can just put the half load on and then know by the next morning you've got lovely clean dishes um, all in all I'm actually really happy with it it's got a lovely display here so you know as you can clearly see it says end, so my dishwasher is, is at the end of its cycle, it needs reloading and it needs turning on again. Um, it's also got a time display, so if you want to know how long your load's got, it will tell you down to the minute, which is really lovely. All in all, I think it's a brilliant dishwasher. Um, I'm really, really chuffed with it actually, so I would definitely recommend this product to someone who wants a nice sleek dishwasher. It's very quiet, which is really good because we actually live in an open plan kitchen come diner situation. So having a noisy dishwasher would have been absolutely horrendous because if we was sitting watching telly, the last thing you want to hear is a constant whirring in the background. It's really, really quiet. I don't know if it's because it's an integrated system or if it's just that Smeg is particularly quiet in their dishwashers. But that is another top, top feature for me, is to have that quietness when you're watching TV, knowing everything's being lovely and clean in the background. So, brilliant product, and thank you very much, Ayo, for letting me re receive it and to try it out. I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.